and can I get a hot tub? This is Petey from SupplementReviews.com. How's it going everybody? Today we're here to talk about some protein. The favorite supplement of us gym enthusiasts. How long have you been gymming, bro? I don't know. 20 years. Anyway. Back to the point. Now that that pre-workout induced rant is out of the way. Today what we're going to be talking about is a product from ProSource called NitroA Ultra Elite. Let's take a look at the front of the container to dive on in. It says Luvon 590 Leucine Peptides, cross flow micro and nano filtration, fancy stuff, and a precision isolated protein matrix with superior bioavailability and purity. This is the strawberry flavor for full disclosure. Now. Starting off with taste and mixability. This is hands down the strongest acid of this protein. Um, I've always been a fan of strawberry proteins, so it was very pleasing to have an uh, awesome tasting product like this. It's one of the best tasting ones I've tried for quite some time, and the other expert reviewers um, that received this uh, pretty much agree. It, it tastes just rocks. It's hands down just delicious. It's nice and smooth, it blends easily, and the flavors is fantastic. Especially if you dig strawberry protein, this might be one you want to consider trying just for the flavor alone. So, for taste and mixability, it rocks it. It knocks it out of the park. For me, it was a 9.5 out of 10. No complaints there. And, I mean, it's, it's just simply fantastic. Now, let's take a look at what is actually in this product. For right here, we got Supplement Facts, which is two scoops. So, this can be a little deceiving here. In this 2.2, uh, no, 2.71, getting crazy on me. Um pound container. So at that two scoop serving size, you have 28 servings in this container here. 44 grams total for those two scoops. Calorie wise, you're sitting at 175 with 45 from fat. Five grams of fat with one and a half of that being saturated. I'll get to that in a second. No trans fat. That's good. Gaspari. Cholesterol, five milligrams, barely any in there, two percent of daily value. Sodium is relatively low for a protein at 150 milligrams at six percent. And then we're looking at your total carbs, you have 12 grams, but you also have four grams of that as fiber. Uh, the other, th only three and a half grams of sugar, which is good. It's not gonna put you over the edge. And then last but not least, the most important part of this product, I hope so, is the protein, coming in at 21 grams per two scoops. Um, it looks a little watered down, um, especially when you got two scoops. Let's take a look at the scoop size here. Okay, I threw a scoop away, never mind. Regardless, it's uh, smaller than the average protein scoop, so I think they could just put in a bigger scoop and call it even. It, like if, I think if you had a uh, average size, maybe like a Pro Complex or a Coreway scoop, it'd be about two of these. So looking at keeping that in mind, um, I guess that's a little deceiving in terms of how much powder you actually have to use. It's still only 44 grams. Now, uh, the important part, let's take a look at what is making up this blend. Um, I guess first thing on there, which is good that I like to see, because this is a relatively more pricey product, which we'll cover. Uh, we got Profon, Profon Cross Flow Micro. Oh my gosh, can't talk today. Cross Flow Microfiltration, abbreviated CFM, Whey Protein Isolate, Luvon 590 Cross Flow Nano Filtration CFN, Hydrolyzed Whey Protein Isolate. That's good stuff, especially going back that taste. Usually, uh, hydrosolate is pretty hard to mask. Excellent job here. Um, moving on from there. We got, of course, whey, uh, hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, like I said, um, L-leucine, Thermax, hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, so more isolate, and here's where your fats are coming from. They put in some median chain triglycerides, in this case it's sunflower oil, they add a little bit of sucrose, which is your sweetener, and uh, still it only comes in at three and a half grams per serving size. Um, looking on from there, natural and artificial flavors, polydextrose, fibersol, what are you trying to be, body by V, uh, maltodextrin. Maltodextrin again, more MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, uh, cellulose gum, natural vegetable color, flaxseed, guar gum, xanthan gum, uh, aminogen, clarinol powder, mono and diglycerides, non fat dried milk, disodium phosphate, dipotassium phosphate, sodium chloride, sodium caseinate, soy lecithin for, as uh, anticoagulant agent, silicon dioxide, and sodium silicaluminate. And of course, you got a little artificial sweetener in as well to round out the thing at exophamine, potassium, sucralose, and tocopherols. Overall, there's a lot of crap in here that doesn't necessarily need to be in here, like uh, the guar gum, less or less than, but I'm not going to complain too much. The part that matters to me with this one is that you're going to be 
rocking some high quality protein ingredients. They use hydrosylates, they use isolates. I'd be curious to know what the processing method was. On the front it says uh, cross flow and nano filtration. That's cool and all, but I'm just wanna, I'd like to make sure that it's not ion exchanged. That'll knock your protein body down. But as it is, I like the profile as a whole. Um, the medium drink triglycerides don't bother me. They fit in your diet, you would be good to go. And overall, it's a very, very, uh, I'd say high quality product, especially with the inclusion of aminogen. So overall, I mean, it's very good, but it's especially, it takes something very special for me to rate a, rate a protein really high. So I'm gonna stick with a 9.0 out of 10 rating on this protein. That's still a very solid rating for this protein product, and um, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, moving on from there, we're gonna talk about the effectiveness. Well, um, Want to know a secret? <clears throat> it's protein. <coughs> yeah, I know. It's a big surprise there hearing PD say that. But if you drink a protein shake, if you eat protein, if you have carbohydrates, if you provide your body with the vital macronutrients following your workout, you're going to recover. I'm kind of biased when it comes to this because I'm not a huge fan of the anabolic window. Research is sketchy. But regardless, that's a whole other video. But for the purpose of this, it does what it's supposed to do. There's no digestive issues, and I feel that it's a very solid product. So overall, effectiveness, eight out of 10. It's hard to mess up a protein. I didn't have any problems with it, and it's tasty. Crap, somebody's here. Wrapping up the review here real quick. Uh, value overall, it's uh, decently priced, so I'm gonna give it uh, about a 7.8 out of 10. It's a little more pricey because you do have some hydrosylate in there, but none of my complaints. Um, overall, very solid product. And I'm going to round it out, then this is very briefly here, I mean, it's just protein. I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. It's a good product, so give it a try if you get the chance. And, uh, I mean, try out all the good flavors. A lot of good, delicious stuff. This has been Petey from SupplementReviews.com. If you have any questions, put them in the forum and the social media section. If not, get at us on Twitter, G+, on Google, and Facebook. Other than that, you have a good day.